Hi guys, welcome back to my book channel. If you're new here, my name's Hannah. Hello, welcome to a, another weekly reading vlog. I had a shower earlier. I also finished off reading um, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I gave this four out of five stars. This is a very different read for me. Obviously, I, I'm not entirely sure what category this falls into um, because I'm used to reading thriller and romances. However, this is a beautifully written book. I love the cover, I loved the story, I loved the way the mother coped with her grief of losing a loved one, had ties into Hamlet, um, written by Shakespeare obviously, and set in Stratford-upon-Avon, and it was just such a beautiful tale, so, but yeah, um, I'll speak more about that in my wrap-up for March current read is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Again, I've seen this one absolutely everywhere and so many people love this book and I'm really excited to read it because I've owned it for like a year and I just haven't read it. Um, and I just wanted something a bit easier to read and a bit can get my teeth, teeth stuck into, get my brains into. So I'm currently on page 20, really not far in. However, I'm really enjoying it. So Project and I, I think it's really cool that you get like her like log entries and stuff like that um and it's just really cool i'm really enjoying it so far so but yeah and then my other two books i plan to read this week are we are two weeks into march and i've almost finished my entire march tbr that never happens to me so my last two on my tbr are murder on the orange express again need to read it so i can watch the movie by agatha christie and then the last one that i'm gonna read in march is verity by colin hoover so hopefully these these are the three books i'm planning to read this week so yeah now on to the coffee or reading montage yes it's 10 a.m um hello it is monday today and i was having a good morning either i can try start that tomorrow on a tuesday but i think i might just do it next week um to get used to waking up at six again anyway we're in comfy clothes today because my time of the month is no fun today I didn't update you yesterday i just did a time lapse and then i just didn't update you as to how far I'd got with um, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I am currently on page... I'm currently on page 236 um, which is part two and I'm really enjoying the writing style I'm, I'm finding it really fast for me to read obviously I think it's easier to read because it is in the YA category and all the other books I have been reading have been more like on the adult 236 of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, like I just said. Um, really enjoying it. I think I've kind of guessed what might happen. Um, but then again, I went into this book with no expectations. So, um, again, I'm late to this party, this Holly Jackson hype, but um, really enjoying it. Hello, it's a 
few hours later. It's currently like 12 p.m. Um, and I've just got to the 300 page mark of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I actually forgot to film my time lapse because I was in this room, but there was like workmen on chimneys like across the road and they were so loud that I couldn't relax in this room. Um, really did not expect the twist um, that just happened. I'm not gonna give any spoilers or anything like that, but I would highly recommend this if you want a fast read to read um, and obviously it's YA so it's easy for me to read. Um, really liking the pace of the book. No, I like carbs and I'm not about to give up pasta anyway. I'm, I'll am i show you what I'm putting in my pasta and do a little time lapse of me making my pasta. Last 100 pages of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and hopefully I can finish this by 2pm. Obviously, it is Tuesday today. Finished a good girl's guide to murder at like 9 a.m. this morning. Um, I did not, by the way, this is a hot water bowl. No, oh, but such is life, anyway. <laughs> it's very windy outside. So, um, a good girl's guide to murder, I would give it possibly a four out of five, um, simply because. I did guess, like I predicted, um, the outcome literally on the like 350 page mark I kind of had an inkling simply because obviously the books I have been reading have been not from the YA category so a young adult thriller it's not adults and I am 27 so I was going to murder um, I'm not going to give anything away, but I will go into a more depth review of it in my March wrap up. However, yeah, we are on to, I think I've got two books left to read on my reading list is Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. Orient Express meaning that after I've read this I can then watch the movie, um, which is exciting. It is a shorter read I believe. This one is only only 274 pages so could probably smash this out within a day <laughs> however I want to sit down and brainstorm booktube ideas today um simply because I literally read all day yesterday on some people's booktube videos and then let him out anyway I'm gonna do some editing for the rest of my day and look for Christie is my next read and I shall fill you in when I have read more than 10 pages. This is, um, what day is it? It's Saturday. I think I filmed one clip yesterday um, of me talking about the book Verity um, that I was reading. So we, I am, <laughs> I'll just show you the books because I basically finished my March TBR. Um, essentially so the reading vlog obviously I managed to only feel human on Friday and by the time you see this video it'll be like a week later anyway I finished the book Verity literally in like 11 hours and that's the quickest I have ever read a book like if you have not read this you need to read it I will go more in depth about this book in my wrap up but hands down um Five out of five, absolutely loved, loved this book. So excited that I read this book and now I'm a fan, I'm a sweet. And I also finished, the book isn't up here, but I finished Murder on the Orient Express. Um, so I basically finished my March TBR. A week, is it 30 days in March? I don't know, anyway. Um, so I finished my March TBR and the book I am, I went straight on to reading was one by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, this one I've seen quite not not a lot of people talk about it and I'm really enjoying it. I've cried quite a few times. This book is really floppy as well. Does that like annoy anyone else? I'm currently on page 
227 out of 300 and 334 so um not a lot left in that but anyway i this one this weekend and then if i do finish this one then the next book i'm gonna pick up is one that's called um without a trace which um, i got in a recent book haul and this is by marie hannah um it's about a disappearance obviously a plane that goes missing and it sounded really interesting so yeah that is what i'm doing with my weekend um a massive headache which is a bit annoying but like I, i've just eaten some i just had some pasta for lunch and i've been reading since like possibly 11 a.m so i've read for quite a while um but yeah so now as i have makeup on and i've put my self together i'm gonna set up to film a video um and there's rugby on later it's on why am I out of breath? The rugby is on so much later today, um, the Wales game. It's on at almost like 8pm, so I have time to do things. It is a mess, it's not really organised at all, and tick they're the, I think they're known as the TikTok jeans. You just zoom in. But basically I have these jeans in um, three different styles. Um, and they're all a size 12 and normally I'm a size 10 slash 12 but um yeah they're from the brand Stravidas and they're about £19 so they're really good uh, a good price for jeans I think personally um but anyway <laughs> essentially I, I, I kind of just randomly I mean sometimes I write videos down or sometimes I just kind of remember them in my head so the one I'm about to film now is um, popular books I DNF'd or s popular books and series that I haven't finished so do you by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I think I should have a delivery a book delivery at some point today hello I'm very excited because I just finished filming two videos and they actually turned out pretty well and I'm very excited about it and now my room looks a mess however I just had a Amazon delivery so I thought we'd do a little unboxing. Look at the mess. <laughs> These are, I just filmed my March wrap up because I don't think I'm gonna read, I think I'll read one more book possibly by next week but um, essentially I, I maybe don't know. And then um, I just planned my April TBR um, which is gonna be slightly less than normal um, but I filmed so I'm filming this vlog, this reading vlog, I'm filming, I filmed my March wrap up, I filmed um, popular books I DNF, could not finish, and then I also filmed, did I film something else? My brain, I planned some. Anyway, let's, um, this is the, my setup is like a tripod that is from Amazon and this is my ring light from Amazon as well. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna pop my books back to normal um and then we will carry on reading um after i do by taylor jenkins read i'm very excited to finish this anyway yes if you want to know what i read in uh march um and then i kind of planned one for um books that will make a cancer cry as in a cancer star sign cry unboxing shall we Let's unbox some I'm so excited. Let's unbox and then I can pick up, I think that's what I want to do. Carry the cart as well. Uh, this is an exciting thing. Not, I mean, essentially, I think most people. Anyway, I got some cleaning wipes for my um, MacBook screen because my MacBook screen just always seems to be filthy I don't know why but um it just seems to be filthy and then I googled and apparently these clean your screen so um this is what my macbook screen currently looks like it's like this so essentially I do need to clean it um and my cat sits on my laptop and scratches it so I probably need to get a like actual cover for it. The battery is dying but I'll just show you the books that I got from Amazon because they were on offer and I thought you know what I want to read them. The three books I got was 
2 by Colleen Hoover. I'm very excited to read this one. I got It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and um, Regretting You by Colleen Hoover as well. And then the last book I got was um, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Apparently this is a really heavy topic book so I don't think I'm going to read it very soon. I just wanted to have something um, on my shelf to read because essentially when I do my um, I've read my April TBR, I really don't have that many books on my shelf left to read. So it's 2 p.m. and I'm hungry, so I am going to go get a snack, I think. Um, that is my plan. Hi guys, you're sat in my bookshelf. Um, it's currently 20 to 7 in the evening at last night and um, obviously I'll just go for that if I don't drink it. View 7 and I have just finished reading um, After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I really enjoyed this book. I'll give it like a 4 out of 5 I think. I really enjoyed um, seeing how they coped as a couple that decide to separate for a year um, and have no contact with each other at all yeah it was just such the ending was so cute i cried quite a few times um well like i teared up and was a bit like wanting to cry at some parts of this book um but if you've never read anything by taylor jenkins read i would highly recommend this one after i do so basically i have now finished all of my um march tbr and the day i'm filming this is saturday the 20th of march so there's a whole week left of march essentially um, and I think, looking at my bookshelf now, I think the next book I'm going to read is going to be either um, The Man Who Didn't Call by Rosie Walsh or um, Without a Trace by Marie Hanna. Or maybe I'll read The Versions of Us because I want to reread that book. I have read that book before, but um, essentially those are the ones that I am going to pick up. But anyway, it, I've read quite a lot um, this week um so i don't know maybe this is an interesting vlog so i don't know it depends how strong this prosecco is um i'm not normally a prosecco drinker but it was the only drink we had <laughs> the other day and i just needed a drink to read this book um yeah but i really really did enjoy this um i would highly re highly recommend and so that is it for today's little update 